Uh, labdien visi, sveiki. Um, te ir, es esmu Reins Sīpols, esmu viens no Lija pār saviem ASV. Uh, es būšu moderētājs uh, šim uh, uh, webinār. Um, mēs tagad pārsāksim uz angļu, pār uz angļu valodu. Um, hello, hi, this is Reynas Sīpols uh, from Lija, uh, one of the U.S. representatives um, for the webinar today. A few um, sort of uh, uh, tips and uh, sort of uh, uh, methodology that we're going to use today. Um, I'm going to do a brief introduction uh, of our of, of our host from uh, or our presenter from eBay. Um, if you have questions, please um, direct them into the Q and A uh, panel uh, on uh, on your screens. Um, alternatively, if if there's a problem or something, you can put them into chat. Um, but please do that. At the conclusion of uh, the presentation, we will then go through the uh, questions in order, uh, you know, from the Q and A and the chat. Uh, if we have time after that, we will um, then take, uh, uh, you know, additional questions that may be out there that were not answered or there. Um, for everybody's um, information, this webinar will be um, recorded and available on the LIA website uh, for, for later viewing and, uh, and for distribution if you'd, if you'd like to. Um, also, we could tender up questions post, post the, you know, the interview by, by, by emailing LIA and uh, we can entertain those as well. Um, and with that, I will introduce to you our presenter. Um, so please let me introduce to you uh, Danielle from eBay. Uh, she's an expert online marketer with nearly 10 years of experience and will be leading the webinar today. Uh, as background, uh, eBay is one of the largest marketplaces in the world. Uh, it has uh, currently over 100, 132 million active buyers with thousands of eBay sellers already operating from Latvia. Um, and according to eBay data, they've sold their goods to over 190 countries in the world, primarily to the United States, followed by, uh, followed by the big European Union markets. Um, for eBay, uh, the Baltic region is one of the key focus markets for growth, and they are interested, in, in, interested to provide personal, uh, provide personal professional service and support to Latvian businesses in onboarding them to eBay and in growing their businesses globally. Uh, Leah has partnered with eBay in order to help small and medium Latvia-based businesses to expand their cross-border trade and create new revenue streams, as well as uh, economic, uh, economic growth. Um, <clears throat> eBay offers unique benefits for Latvian businesses that are worth thousands of dollars per participant that will be offered completely for free to eligible Latvian businesses. Uh, Danielle will discuss this during the uh, presentation and also in, in post-webinar uh, questions. Um, the benefits include assistance in developing a, a personal education and business plan, a free store on eBay, and additional benefits, which she will detail. Um, as, a, <clears throat> as a side topic, um, the top successful can, uh, category sold on eBay from Latvia currently is auto parts and accessories, a leading industry in Latvia and the biggest category on eBay globally. And now, with that, I will turn the webinar over to Danielle. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. And please, again, uh, direct your uh, questions as the webinar proceeds into the Q&A panel uh, on your screen, um, or also chat, uh, if, uh, if possible. And uh, look forward to a successful webinar. And with that, I'll pass it over to uh, Danielle. Thank you so much, Rainis, for this warm introduction and for joining us in your early AMs. Um, hi guys, my name is Daniel. I'm based in Israel, and like Rainy shared with you, I've been with eBay for nearly seven years. Um, I've never been to Latvia yet, um, uh, but like Rainy said, uh, kindly shared, Baltic region is one of the greatest focus areas for us at eBay. We see great success, great results already by Latvian businesses and in general Baltic businesses. Uh, just to share with you, yeah, in fact, uh, my entire team is now in Vilnius these days for a seller summit that for the second year round, we chose to have it in Vilnius due to the, let's say, many, many business sellers that we have from Baltic region. Um, before I start, I just want to say a huge thank you to my partners in Leah, Liva and Rainis. It's such a pleasure working with you. Um, it's really an honor to see you know, a governmental entity that cares so much for Latvian businesses and you know their their ability to thrive globally and also the reason that you know we as eBay are here today. 
Uh, I will share with you now a presentation, kind of sharing with you some trends, some numbers that we see from eBay also for Latvia specifically. And most importantly, the details of the unique accelerator, a growth program that is worth thousands of dollars for each participant, now opened also for Latvian businesses that we want to offer you today, including many, many, many benefits such as personal support, financial benefits. Stay tuned uh, until the end to hear more about it and apply. And of course, like Rainy said, please don't be shy to later ask any question that you may have. I'm, I'm happy to, he to be here and would love to also, you know, um, speak with you guys as much as possible. Uh, so with that, I will share my presentation. Okay. So first, you know, it's a very interesting time in history, right, to talk about e-commerce in general. Uh, just reviewing a few years back, yeah, we had like a global pandemic. Uh, now with the, you know, like an economy slowdown, yeah, and what we say that many people were in a rush to eulogize shopping malls. Yeah, but to be honest, yeah, if we think about what's getting people into a shopping mall, it's, you know, it's a mix of many, many things. So primarily, you'll say that you have everything set in one place, all the brands, all the items that you may need, all very colorful and diverse, right? Uh, I, I can share that my daughter is only three years old. She loves going to the mall, even if we don't end up buying anything. Um, but I think that the main reason why people love shopping in shopping malls is beyond the selection. It's the experience, uh, the shopping experience, the, the browsing, the novelty, not just, you know, the consumption element of it. Um, actually visiting a shopping mall for some of us, my husband uh, may not agree with that, is a fun activity on its own. Um, and, and that is the very experience that any mall of any kind wishes to deliver. And of course, also eBay, uh, an online mall. And before I will deep dive more into the experience, so I, I want to share with you a question that I'm often asked. Um, in, in you know the reality today where businesses can choose to sell anywhere they like, yeah, physically, online, local, global marketplaces, uh, I'm often asked what should be the first option? Where should the business enter to new global markets? How should they do that? What's the best way? And to help you answer this question, I wanted to invite uh, uh, for a moment Donald Trump before he became president of the United States. Um, you may rightfully you know, be wondering what Donald Trump has to do with the e-commerce anyway. Um, so I don't know if this show was as big as it was in Israel, the show The Apprentice. Um, and there's this one episode that caught my eye. Um, it sounds very simple. It's an episode where the few teams are competing for the best sales results for setting up their lemonade stand. Now, there were many you know, different methods for trying to win this uh, from uh, the best recipe, a unique name, um, uh, of course, the best price. But the team that ended up winning this contest, um, as Donald put it, the first rule of business is location, location, location. Um, the team that won was the team that chose the best, the most lucrative location for the lemonade stand. It was right downtown where all the businessmen were taking their lunchtime out. And point is, is that it's not very different for e-commerce as well. Yeah, the, the first rule, which is a complete must for you to succeed also online, is traffic. How to even get buyers to even notice your products in the first place. And indeed, you can see also this graph here reviewing the traffic of the world's leading retail website. So you can see here yeah, that half of the monthly visitors are at marketplaces, not just eBay, also Amazon and Express. Yeah. The other half is at really, really big top brands. Yeah. You can see the names uh, Apple, uh, IKEA. Yeah. Really, really big brands. And I think that the conclusion that we can draw is that whether if, if you're not a huge brand like these names, yeah, 
you cannot simply overlook the option of a marketplace to grow your business. Um, of course, you know, this is true locally, but more so globally. But the reality is that marketplaces, while you know, traffic is, of course, you know, a great advantage, are a lot more than just uh, just the traffic, yeah? Um, so uh, kind of going back to the experience, yeah? So um, eBay is heading towards the direction of an experience of a managed marketplace. It means all in one place, one, uh, one uh, stop shop, talking about processing the payments for the sellers, taking care of the logistics side, fulfillment for you as well. Uh, sophisticated marketing tools, data insights, very important for business sellers with many, many items usually. Yeah, and of course, trust, which is key for, you know, spending a lot of money online from a seller from across the world, right? And one element that is not mentioned here is personalized support. And for this, we have set up a really unique growth program also for Latvian businesses that now supports businesses on the way to start and onboard their uh, business to eBay. I will soon get to that and share more details. So um, Raven shared some of the numbers. Yeah, eBay is one of the largest shopping malls in the world. We're talking about uh, 132 million active buyers from all over the world, from 190 markets, yeah, and nearly 2 billion live listings. And the direction that where we are heading, yeah, is to give the absolute best experience for both buyers and sellers on the marketplace. So I, I will share with you very shortly a few of the new experiences that eBay has launched over the past few years, and then we can go to talk about uh, first uh, the program and the benefits for you guys, the Latvian businesses attending this webinar today. So one of the oh, eBay's let's say main product pillars yeah, and strategy is to verticalize. Yeah, is it means building new experiences and product enhancements that. Uh, are compatible with certain verticals, yeah, with enthusiast needs. And as part of that, we introduced uh, nearly two years ago, the authenticity guarantee. Uh, this is uh, uh, aimed at improving the trust, of course, between buyers and sellers around the world. Basically, it offers physical authentication uh, for free of, uh, of you know, uh, luxury items like uh, accessories, handbags, sneakers, with wristwatches. Uh, that is led by a professional third party on the way from seller to buyer. Yeah, and of course, this leads buyers to have more confidence in the marketplace and in sellers from all across the globe. Uh, simplicity is also part of the game. And here, eBay, I know that many people uh, knew eBay back in the day where we were partnering with PayPal as the payment processor. And a few years back, eBay uh, introduced an integrated payment solution built in within the platform, uh, managing end-to-end -end the payments for sellers uh, from you know, deducting the fees and getting you know, the, the payment from the buyers. Everything you need in one place, of course, including reporting system, uh, which should offer you flexibility, convenience to run your business all from one single place. Um, a bit about marketing, and uh, I think it's an inter interesting time to talk about marketing because now we're uh, in September, right? So across, uh, uh, let's say, in, a, in let's say about a month, businesses will start preparing for the peak season of the year. Yeah, the holiday season of Q4, uh, Black Friday, Christmas. Uh, a lot of a lot of usage for marketing tool, and also eBay invests a lot of money, a lot of resources into buy uh, into bringing buyers from all over the world with the platform during this time. So here I want to share with you that 70% um, of all eBay purchases start from search. Yeah, search of course is a, is one of the most important tools. Uh, if you want to kind of go back to the first rule that I was discussing of e-commerce, the traffic. So I think that the main question that you should be asking yourself is how do you get your listing to stand out when there are almost 2 billion live listings on the website, right? So here's solutions like uh, promoted listings come into play. Uh, it's, it's a tool where sellers you know, can bid for ad placement, 
but this is now a new tool that is basically also a paper a paper click model, which is a new tool that allows you more flexibility. And of course, also to kind of foresee the marketing expenditure in advance. Yeah, but other than that tool, you have many, many different marketing tools on eBay that we will be happy to educate you about uh, during our growth program for new sellers. Before finalizing the experience, uh, experiencing part. So I don't know if you know that because eBay.com is obviously the top known uh, website yeah, on eBay, but eBay has quite a few different marketplaces. Yeah, also some that you may not know. Uh, the biggest ones are obviously eBay.com for the United States, eBay UK, eBay Germany, but we have many, many different websites and the replication is quite easy. So usually what we see is that business sellers usually start with one marketplace for Latvia, the top one is eBay.com, kind of getting the hang of it, learning how to do things you know, correctly on eBay, and then gradually expanding and replicating via single click your listings to other eBay marketplaces as well. So you could meet clients and you know new buyers from a variety of countries all over the world. Now, as promised, I want to share with you some also details about Latvia. Um, so a quick look on Latvia, we have already thousands of successful Latvian sellers on eBay. Um, this is even before we had started supporting Latvian businesses personally, something that we do these days. And we see great success by Latvian sellers. The top category is auto parts and accessories. Uh, luckily for us, this is a very, very developed and growing industry uh, in the Baltic region and also the biggest top growing category on eBay, generally speaking. So we are very, very focused on the auto parts and accessories vertical. But other than that, you can see here a few examples of top sold items last year from Latvia. It's it's amazing to see the you know the, the variety and the mix here, yeah. From you know uh, fashion items, accessories like uh, wristwatches, uh, uh, cards and stamps for collectibles, uh, mobile car lightning, obviously video games. Many of these categories also were ones to significantly you know of course grow during COVID, uh, a time where people you know spent a lot of time at home and had you know more more time to invest in their hobbies, their collections, and we're very happy for that. In terms of the top export market, so like I shared, US is, you know, uh, in the front, yeah, uh, approximately one third of the export is the United States on eBay by Latvian sellers, but also the big European markets, yeah, uh, Germany, UK, France, and Italy, and of course, a long tail of many, many other countries worldwide. Now, I will skip this one. I, I want to share with you some details about what we as eBay can do for you and how we can support your business into you know, onboarding successfully to eBay and starting to sell uh, all over the world. Um, so like I said, what we have built, and, and again, we have COVID to thank for that because it was a great accelerator for us for improving the value offerings that we have for businesses to, to go online. Uh, is the SMB Accelerator. Uh, it's run by eBay experts. Uh, eligible businesses can enjoy many, many benefits and support completely for free to start a business on eBay. Um, starting by personal support. Uh, in this program, you will have the support and guidance of your very own uh, account manager, growth advisor to educate you and your employees exactly how to do everything on eBay from opening the account, logistics, marketing tools, communication with buyers, uh, everything so you could, of course, succeed and know all the best practices on eBay. And of course, have your contact person to ask questions and rely on. Uh, the growth plan is customized to your business, of course, uh, aimed at, at getting you successful on eBay, where it doesn't matter which vertical uh, you sell it. Um, and of course, you get also financial benefits. Uh, if we store subscription on eBay for the first three months of your activity on eBay, uh, subsidy for helping you onboard your items to eBay. Here, I want to say something. I, I'm guessing that many of you guys here today are business owners with 
hundreds, if not thousands or, or more of items. Uh, here, you would not want to upload your items manually one by one to the platform, obviously. Uh, we have tools to help you upload in bulk, in one click, many, many items at once from your website, from uh, whichever tool that you're using, uh, various tools for different business models and, and uh, of course, needs of the business. Uh, and finally, also marketing benefits, uh, promotion to help you boost visibility for your new, new, your new listings. And as I mentioned, now is kind of the perfect time for that, considering that, you know, Black Friday and Christmas is just around the corner. Um, you can scan this QR code here to apply for the program, but I will, in a minute, I will also share with you via chat the link. Um, uh, the link to apply to our growth program, you will see that you have a very short questionnaire sharing some details about your business and the contact person. Um, our team will reach out to you within seven business days, uh, of course, to notify you about your eligibility for the program and to start the personal growth program for your business. And Finally, I just want to wrap up by going back to the original question that I was asking. Yeah, um, People asking me yeah, if, whether should I sell via uh, marketplace, via other sales channels that are out there. And the answer, as I see it, yeah, is that the question that we really need to be asking ourselves is not which channel to choose anymore yeah um it's a multi-channel world today buyers shop in several marketplaces websites physical online stores um i'm guessing that if you see people you know buying you usually see many many tabs on their desktop if they're buying from you know uh, um, from the computer and as a business what you want to do is you want to meet your buyers wherever they are and bottom line is sell everywhere to sell more. And we are very happy, you know, first to support you in starting to sell with us on eBay. I will now stop sharing and I will uh, send you the link to the growth program. And like Rainy uh, said in the beginning, yeah, I would absolutely love to answer any question that you may have about eBay, e-commerce in general. Please feel free. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> thank you, Danielle. Uh, <clears throat> let me uh, go here to the uh, to the to the chat. Um, I mean, to the Q and A. We have uh, one question that was presented. Um, question is: uh, We uh, says hello. Uh, we have already applied for eBay Growth Program advertised in collaboration with Latvian Post. Is this the same program, same seller, uh, same program with the same seller benefits? Thank you. Yes, thank you, Edith. This is the same program, which is just recently been introduced for the very first time uh, in Latvia. Uh, we are carefully choosing our partners in Latvia, uh, partnering with organizations that share our agenda for, of course, promoting the economy and uh, growth of Latvian businesses. This is the same program. Uh, again, in a nutshell, this program is worth thousands of dollars for each participant. But of course, same here as in the, the one with Latvian Post, offered completely for free. Okay, great. Uh, something here in the chat. Let me see. Um, okay, yeah, there's your, your message. Okay, there is no other questions in the chat. So um, I, I just have a one, <clears throat> was one general question. Um, probably some of it was covered, but... Um, Regarding just uh, eBay specifically, maybe online marketing in general, um, what are what are some additional tips for for our potential sellers on how to prepare their products, how to prepare their pitch, their uh, advertising, um, the importance of graphics, things like this? Um, could you just give a you know obviously there's probably some very experienced sellers already on, you know on the webinar, but just in general uh, from your experience and what are the latest trends to uh, you know in in this area? All people are trying to stand out when people click on, you know, on, on their products or on their sites. That's a great question. So first I would say is that was part of the difficulties that we sometimes face is that, I don't know if you know these, I know mentors on YouTube, Facebook, uh, promising businesses that they can, you know, open their online shop and make a gazillion dollars with one hour of investment a month. 
Um, so as my mother taught me, if it sounds too good to be true, probably it is. Um, I'd say that an online business is a business like any other. Yeah, and you need, of course, to invest in it, prioritize it. And, and of course, it also requires uh, work. Uh, to start with is understanding your business compared to, of course, the competition on a specific marketplace or generally speaking, and knowing who your buyer is. Um, this would, of course, also help you to understand what is your value proposition. Uh, is it uh, you know, a great pricing for your uh, items? Is it a niche product or very unique brands that are hard to find? Uh, maybe a great selection and bundle. Yeah, so here, this, this is some research work that I would, uh, of course, recommend every seller to do when they're starting to sell globally via any marketplace there is. And of course, uh, later making sure that the pricing and marketing strategies should support this decision. Beyond that, it's a continuous work of understanding, of course, what sells best, a lot of reporting, analytics, something that eBay has abundantly many, many tools for sellers uh, for sellers to use. Uh, because, for instance, Rain, you could see that, you know, uh, an item that was once your best seller now no longer sells. Why? Yeah, it first requires some, some deep dive into it. Is it a new competitor? Is it uh, a trend that is no longer relevant? Maybe you should uh, update some of the listings information. Yeah, sometimes it's the shipping. Yeah, you should offer more uh, shipping options for your clients worldwide. And I think that the, the let's say the, the bottom line is also to know how to have the fit between your product and your strategy. I, I can share a funny story of an Israeli seller that once called me to say that like he opened uh, a really really great uh, new marketing campaign uh, buy one get one he told me I don't understand why do people not buy from buy from me more why is it campaign not working on eBay and there I should probably tell you guys that I told him uh, think for a minute what you're selling is engagement rings so probably one what, uh, buy one get one is not the ideal promotion for your type of of product, right? How many wives uh, you know the one person could have? Yes, yeah, so of course. Thinking what would work best for your product, and everything I just told you, yeah, of course, is also covered as part of the growth program with you know our team of professionals from marketing to the strategy to the pricing, everything to help you know make the right decisions, but. Then again, just know that it also, of course, requires your commitment as a business to become a top exporter at the end of the day. Okay, great. Um, before I continue with the questions, we've got a few more that have just come in. So we've got plenty in the queue. Um, I wanted to remind, I, I, I made a mistake at the very beginning of our, of, of our webinar. I forgot to mention that sort of towards the end of this, we're going to be sending all the participants a very brief survey uh, to let us know how we did. Um, oh, and I think it just popped up on the screen. Um, and um, so even while we're doing the Q&A, you can fill this out and get it back to us. We really appreciate you filling it out, uh, good, bad, or indifferent. Uh, we're here at Leah. We try to make the uh, presentations, webinars, et cetera, um, as 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 uh, let's say probably as as good as possible, but also just so they're productive and they're informational. And your feedback is very important for us to try to work to improve them. Uh, or expand them, et cetera. So we appreciate your opinions. Um, and now for, for the next question, I did receive one here via the chat. Uh, let me find that again here real quick. Um, the um, participant, Giannis, asked about uh, what countries have eBay fulfillment? Okay, yeah, so this would be the big ones, yeah. For instance, UK, Germany. Uh, usually the idea behind eBay fulfillment or fulfillment in general is to try to get your item closer to the end buyer um, for a few reasons. Yeah, of course, it's cheaper. The shipment uh, is usually faster. So this is where you can find the eBay fulfillment. But of course, it's also completely OK. And, and usually new sellers are shipping from their, let's say, home home base, for instance, Latvia at the beginning. Usually it takes time for new sellers to kind of also understand what sells best in order to not take any risks and you know forward some of the inventory onto a fulfillment center. Okay, thank you. Uh, the next question is from Ingas. Um, his question is, is there any benefit to the company brand when selling on eBay? 
as far as we know, if you sell the same product that someone else is already selling, then it's basically just a price fight. Um, price fight, not price fight. Apologize. Price fight. Okay. Uh, so I, I think that there are probably two elements to this question. Um, so first, how can a seller differentiate themselves? And and first, uh, Ingress, you're right. Of course, price is very, very important on eBay, but it's not just price. Um, the algorithm, and this is you know, like a best kept secret, so no one knows the exact you know, value and weight of everything, um, is, is based on a few things. One of them, of course, is price. Secondly, is how your listings uh, look like, yeah? Uh, because one seller can invest a lot in having, you know, a lot of information uh, on the product, uh, you know, a title with a lot of keywords, many photos, uh, a lot of uh, item specifications on the product. Each uh, each and every uh, information piece that you add helps index your item stronger to the search results and, of course, help push it more uh, to buyers on eBay. So this is something that is very important. But also your performance as a seller, because even if you offer the best price, and of course, you know, there's only, you know, it could be a number of sellers that can be the cheapest for, for everything. Yeah, normally it's not one seller that can offer all of their items uh, for the cheapest price. Yeah, uh, usually, it's, you know, it's a mix for some items, you're cheaper for some items, you're less cheap, but the performance you, it matters a lot. Um, eBay, of course, downgrades sellers that their performance is not ideal, not responsive to buyers, not shipping on time, uh, have stockouts or issues with their orders, and of course, promotes the you know the sellers with the best customer service. So very very important. And also something to consider is shipping, yeah, because this is also a very very important metric for buyers worldwide. Um, so here I would say that the best practice is, of course, also to offer, for instance, free shipping, free economy shipping or standard shipping for free, and also an option for express delivery for, sell for bu buyers that want to get this more quickly. Um, now, to answer your question specifically about a brand, so of course, you can also have an official brand on eBay. You can find uh, many stores like that, like, you know, the official uh, Reebok or Adidas store. Uh, they have also their own logo, their own brand represented on eBay. Um, but the search experience on eBay is mostly product-based, less store-based. Yeah, so then again, having unique inventory is what usually helps sellers sell the most. Okay, thank you. Um, <clears throat> the next question is from Edita. Uh, it is, uh, her question is, what is the standard monthly fee for being on eBay? Are there separate fees for different eBay regions? Yes, I did. So there are different fees for different eBay sites, <laughs> eBay.com, eBay.de, uh, eBay UK. Uh, generally speaking, yeah, so uh, I think the most important fee to take into account is what we call the final value fee. This is the fee for every successful transaction that takes place on the platform, approximately 15%, but it changes by category, I would take the 15%. In addition to that, business sellers usually also pay for a monthly subscription on eBay, having your own store. Uh, you can design it as you see fit, have you know, your own categories on the store. Um, the range here is between tens of dollars a month to hundreds of dollars a month. It really depends on how many items you want to list on eBay. Uh, as mentioned, uh, this part is completely for free for the beginning, for the first three months uh, during uh, you know, your sales on eBay as part of the growth program. And the reason is that otherwise, if you're not a business seller, you would pay for each individual listing that you would want to uh, add to eBay. And for business sellers, it makes more sense uh, to pay less for an, uh, an online store subscription. I hope that it, it answers your question. Okay, thank you. Um, the next question is from, uh, um, uh, didn't give their name, but the question is, hello, uh, thank you for the presentation. Uh, my product is a physical product and the, with a monthly, um, a, with monthly slash annual subscription. Can, can I sell it with eBay? Okay, if I understand the question, it means that you're charging for the physical product and additionally for a subscription. 
I'm not sure because it really depends on the category. Uh, each category has their own policies on eBay. Also, for instance, like uh, software, things like that. Uh, I would advise, what I would advise to do is the simplest thing. Go to Google, uh, just Google, for instance, uh, uh, software selling on eBay policy, and you will see the exact full policy in each and every eBay site to understand what is the uh, specific, of course, uh, guidelines and rules for your type of product. Uh, just to follow up on the same thing, is there um, is there also like a like I would use a like a, um, a a vendor service person that they could contact you know through the eBay website to do possibly a virtual meeting with or have an online chat with or something like that? Is that available as, as well? Uh, no, the the communication between the seller and the buyer on eBay is only via the messaging. Uh, there is an eBay messaging, member-to-member uh, uh, -member messaging. Uh, in fact, it's forbidden, for instance, to put like a website yeah, or any link to an external uh, partner that would take, of course, the transaction off of eBay. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, maybe you misunderstood. I meant, let's say, um, uh, the person who asked the question, the, uh, um, um, the potential vendor on eBay, if you needed to speak with somebody at eBay or have an online chat or a, or a meeting, ah, okay. eBay to find out, to discuss your policies, just to make sure, because maybe, yeah, reading something in, in legalese or whatever else may be a bit confusing. You have a loss in translation moment, something like that. But let's say I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm the person selling my product and my subscription, uh, I want to make sure that I'm okay and I'm in the right. I'm doing everything properly. Um, how do I contact someone at eBay to have like an online meeting like now or have a telephone call or online chat or something like that? Okay, yeah, yeah, I apologize. So first, of course, eBay has a global customer support. Uh, again, you can just Google eBay customer support and you can choose there the type of inquiry that you would like to, uh, of course, discuss. Uh, could be via phone, could be via chat, whatever, of course, you prefer. Um, but if, of course, you are part of eBay's growth program, then you would also have, in addition, your personal growth advisor, you know, a specific person that uh, would guide you. You would know them by name. You would have phone calls with them, emails with them. So two, two different routes, of course, that uh, that you can follow here. Okay. And, and of course, you have um, a significant presence in Europe uh, in, in similar or close time zones to Latvia. Is that correct? Yeah, actually, our biggest call center for, you know, uh, eBay uh, in our region is in uh, Lithuania. Okay, great. All right. Um, thank you for that. Um, the next question is from Agnes. He says, uh, do you think eBay would be a good place to sell Latvian artists painting reproductions? And then which marketplace would be appropriate? So I can answer specifically because it would require, of course, you know, to have some deep dive research, understand what is, you know, uh, what is the inventory that you already see on eBay, what's the sales. You can use eBay tool, which is called Therapic, to have a very, you know, preliminary uh, research to see what are what are the results. But generally speaking, art also works well on eBay. Uh, of course, sometimes if it's very expensive art, then uh, you know you have other elements to consider, such as you know, of course, uh, uh, insurance for the logistics side, things like that. But it could work for sure. What I would advise you to do even before you do some uh, you know, deep dive research, and then this is a tip that is relevant for all, all of you guys, go to ebay.com. This is the leading marketplace that uh, leads for Latvian exporters. Just even search products like your own. You can like search for uh, Latvian, uh, the Latvian artist's name if you want to see, to see how, uh, how they're doing on eBay, how many search results you see, where are they located, what are their, uh, you know, uh, um, sale results and this could help you make your decision okay thank you um another there's a follow-up question from ingas uh, who had a previous question i uh, says what is the average conversion of a sale on ebay uh, i wish i could answer that uh, it really changes by vertical by seller uh, as i mentioned the algorithm is a complete first mix of factors um, it changes by seller. Each seller can, of course, see for themselves what is the conversion uh, in terms of their items on their self, uh, you know, as a, as a business. Uh, of course, what is the conversion of each and every of their items? And one of the best practices that we usually advise sellers to do is, of course, focus on, you know, also the conversion from the store. Meaning, uh, if you had, uh, let's say, an item that usually used to convert really well and now doesn't convert that well again, 
do some market research to understand why. Again, could be a new competitor, could be a trend, could be a change in buyer's desire. But it really changes also by how your listings look, how you perform as a seller. And of course, then again, pricing, shipping, same as the physical business. Yeah, any change that you do in any of these parameters would strongly affect also the conversion. Okay, thank you. Um, the next question is from Sandis. Uh, he has sort of a, a general, uh, like a marketing approach. I know you had the graphic at the beginning of your presentation regarding relative size of the marketplaces, but he says, um, can you compare eBay versus Etsy and Amazon? How many customers can eBay attract compared to Etsy? So I, I'm not a representative of Etsy, so I'll be very careful in uh, speaking about Etsy. But from what I know, Etsy is, uh, let's say, more of a place for like artists, uh, things like that. So going back also to the person that asked about uh, art from Latvia, Etsy would probably also be a great place for you. Many of the buyers that are today on eBay, probably many of them, and also same goes for the businesses, are also selling also on Etsy on, and on Amazon. Uh, for some verticals, one of these marketplaces can be better than another one. Uh, many of them, of course, ex many businesses experiment with having all of them, again, to meet the buyers wherever they are. Um, comparably speaking, I'd say that eBay is probably more similar to Amazon in a sense that, uh, you know, you can find a variety of almost anything, you know, almost any product in the world on eBay uh, and, and less focused, uh, you know, on the world of, uh, of art and lifestyle. Okay. Um, well, thank you. Um, the next question is from Nils. Um, and he says, um, I'm translating from Latvian in my mind here. So like, give me a second. Um, he, he's asking um, when he's, if he signs up as a vendor um, is, does he have to disclose if he's uh, just a private person who's selling goods or if he's uh, formally incorporated as a company? whether in Latvia or elsewhere. But. So it's, it's of course, you know, it's a matter of if you are in fact a business or a private individual, you can choose which one do you want to register as, as a business, upon uh, as, a, as a user, when you, of course, register as an eBay seller, uh, either register as a private user or as a business. Um, this is the, let's say, the back-end registration process. Yeah, and of course, as a business, you would later get let's say more benefits in the sense of we would vet your business to make sure that you're legit and allow you to upload many thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of items uh, onto eBay once we clear that you're a legit business. On the front end, yeah, let's say if you're selling on eBay.com, usually it doesn't even matter if you're, let's say, a business, a personal seller, if you use your uh, your business name, uh, I don't know what's your Latvian business name, or just uh, like a, a Nils store, because again, the, the, search is, the search experience on eBay is very, very inventory and product-based, less store-based. And probably for most Latvian businesses, this is also true for Israel, the business name on its own is not a brand for American buyers. So it doesn't really matter if you use it or not, as long as the inventory that you're selling is, of course, interesting uh, and lucrative for American buyers, just for, for the example. Okay. Uh, we have a follow-up question from Sandis. Um, he says, my product is a handmade high-quality wood wood picture frame, uh, our high-quality wood wooden picture frames. Is it worth Worth to try? Is it worth it for me to try to compete with many cheap Chinese sellers on eBay, or should I just stay with with Etsy and others where we have uh, where we're doing uh, very good business currently? So here I'd like to go back to my earlier tip about understanding not only your competition but also you know what is your what is your branding, your what is your strategy? Because I'm guessing that also on Etsy and also wherever you sell, yeah, you have competition by uh, uh, cheap uh, cheap competitors with item that is not you know as high quality as yourself. Uh, you would also find it on eBay, of course. You know, if you're specifically talking about you know Chinese sellers, of course, also eBay has many Chinese sellers. Uh, I found it. I don't think that it's unique, but I do think that you should probably look into it on eBay and see specifically for wooden frames. If you also see competition by you know uh, different products, yeah, not the cheap ones. 
let's say a higher, uh, you know, high-end products like yourself and see how it goes on eBay. And of course you can experiment the, the price, let's say uh, the, the work that is entitled in, in putting a list onto eBay is, is not significant, um, but it's, it's great to be aware of the competition and understand also that it's there and how would it affect your strategy in pricing, in marketing, and of course, how you position your item to let buyers understand that it's a different product, that it's not the same product as what they see from cheaper competitors. Okay, thank you. Uh, we have another follow-up question from Ingavs. Um, if I sell on eBay in Germany, do I need to register for VAT in Germany? At some point, yes. Uh, you don't need to have a German business. You can sell you know, from your Latvian business. And we have many Latvian registered businesses selling also on eBayDE. This is the, the German platform. But each country in Europe has their own, uh, of course, you know, thresholds for collecting you know, for the VAT. And from which threshold uh, and above you're required to also uh, pay for the VAT. Um, we as eBay cannot advise you, you know, what is the stage and what is the process for opening with the VAT. Uh, we have partners for that also in our partner portal that usually help the merchants uh, with, you know, uh, looking into the VAT regulations and if needed opening their VAT file in the different European countries. I will add, add here the, also the link on chat so you can see it there. Uh, and of course, you can also consult with your accountant if you're already using one. Many of them also know uh, what's the procedure for opening the VAT. Okay. Um, uh, we have a new question here from 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 Davis. Um, his question is: What is the main algorithm for products? How how does eBay how eBay chooses which product goes on top of all these things? It depends on seller's feedback or something else. Thank you. Yeah, that is. so the algorithm is based on many things. Of course, there is the organic part and the non-organic part. Uh, the non-organic part is, of course, you know, the marketing tools that you use. Uh, for instance, the promoted listings tool that I shared before. Uh, pretty simple mechanisms. Yeah, you have like a bidding uh, system. You can choose what is the bid rate that you would like to put in order to have your listing showed in a higher placement in search results compared to other. This is, of course, you know, the paid uh, uh, paid promotion on eBay. And there is the non-organic, the, the organic one. Uh, the organic one is very important and it's composed of many things. Uh, how your listing is structured, how many uh, pieces of information you share and how strongly it is indexed to eBay search results, uh, the price, the shipping. And of course, like you said, Seller feedback. Um, seller feedback, I, I, I say it like it's a one word, but uh, it's a whole world of seller performance, yeah, which is, uh, of course, built on different, uh, different parameters from uh, if you have stockouts, if you have items that are not shipped on time, uh, if you have defects, meaning that a buyer contacted you and you haven't offered a resolution in a timely manner, all of these together, of course, are uh, affecting uh, how eBay shows uh, the products and the algorithm. Um, I'm, I'm afraid that I cannot share like the breakdown of percentages. I myself don't even know that, uh, but all of these metrics are extremely important in of course, succeeding and getting your listing into a higher placement on eBay search results. Hey, thank you. Um, another question from Edita. Um, are there any special requirements for selling wooden children's toys and children's furniture on eBay? Um, basically, certifications, other documentation that you that you as an eBay requires when registering those products. I'm not aware of any such uh, unique certification for uh, you know wooden uh, kids' toys. Um, but what what I would suggest to do in order just to you know of course have a backup is to also search it on Google eBay's policy for that. If there is such a requirement, you would find it on eBay's policy. Or like already suggested before, of course, contact eBay Global Customer Support and get you know uh, the reply specifically for your type of product and what are the you know let's say regulations around. Okay. Um, Emilia has a, a question. It says, uh, does eBay have fulfillment centers or how does shipping work? 
Uh, first, guys, I'm really, I'm really happy that you're asking questions. Please continue to ask. It's a, uh, it's really, it's really good to have you guys engage. Yes, eBay has fulfillment centers. It's quite new from the past few years. Uh, like I said before, in key markets, uh, like uh, for instance, UK and Germany. Um, but it's not a must. Again, you can either use eBay fulfillment center. It's not only for your eBay orders. You can choose to use, you know, eBay fulfillment, and from there also to ship to you know uh, local buyers but if you're selling on your own website or amazon or etsy it doesn't matter yeah so it's not restricted only to ebay sales uh the unique thing about ebay fulfillment is of course is the rates are competitive and also you have uh, protection as a seller in case there is any delay or uh, any issue with the shipment yeah um Generally speaking, it's not a must also to use fulfillment. The, the greatest advantage is that your items would be close to the end buyer, uh, both in terms of the time it takes to ship them and the price. But as I mentioned before, most sellers, uniquely the ones that also are just starting out, choose to sell from their existing warehousing and their country of origin. That is completely okay. Um, just make sure, of course, that also your shipment offerings to buyers are relevant. You know, based, uh, of course, both based on the time that it takes and the pricing. Most sellers offer free shipping uh, economy or standard. And in addition, express shipping for an extra charge from the buyers uh, in case a buyer wants to get their item more quickly. Even more relevant now that the uh, uh, you know upcoming uh, holiday season is coming up for you know the, the one of us, the ones of us that are late in ordering their presents for their loved ones. Okay. Um, we have a, a, a new question from, well, she actually has two questions. So I'll kind of I'll try to, well, I'll, they're actually uh, both unique questions. So we'll answer them one at a time from Zane. Um, and uh, she, she states, she says, hello, um, we manufacture, we have a brand where we manufacture and sell uh, kids and adult unisex raincoats with unique prints. Is there a possibility to, to first sell the product on eBay and then produce after receiving the order? We are giving customers uh, choices of custom prints, and that's the reason for the question. Um, and um, and and also, what if if you're doing business in this manner, what is important to know when getting ready to 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 be on eBay? So first, it sounds it sounds lovely, like a really lovely product. Um, yes, you can do that because what you have on eBay is you also have uh, you you can set your handling time. Uh, handling time means how long would it take you to actually ship the item from the moment that you get the order. Uh, ideally, we're talking about up to three days. Yeah, for some verticals, for instance, like diamond rings, things like that, this could be uh, even longer. Um, so, of course, this, this is something that you should state in your eBay listing in advance how long it would take. Um, probably what you will do in such a case, unless you have, you know, a preset uh, let's say prints that you show on your listing, if it's completely customized and based on, you know, the buyer's wishes, probably what you would do in this case is converse with the buyers uh, on eBay messaging uh, because you couldn't, you know, know in advance what to show. Um, the experience on eBay for, you know, 100% customization is not yet ideal because, again, you will need to, of course, converse with them and make sure using, you know, the messaging uh, app that the, indeed you understand what the buyer wants and, and you know, what kind of customization is needed. Um, so I would, of course, also advise you to be extra careful when communicating with buyers to make sure that, you know, you understand each other and that the buyer will be happy with what is eventually uh, shipped to them to avoid, you know, defects and, you know, buyers' complaints at the end. Um, I also saw that, uh, Zane, that you also sh uh, share that your uh, unisex clothing is already live on Shopify. Uh, so as a platform, so that's great because actually uh, Shopify and eBay already have uh, a connector, uh, like a plugin uh, connector. It's run by Codisto. Uh, it's pretty simple. We have such connectors, you know, plugins with many of the big, uh, let's say, the big platforms like uh, OpenCart, uh, uh, WooCommerce. So basically, what you need is you know to download the uh, uh, download this plugin and. I'd say like click and play and to uh, kind of move all over your inventory from Shopify to eBay. And of course, have it synchronized because whenever an order occurs on Shopify, you will need the inventory to also be reflected on eBay differently. 
Yeah, so you can search uh, later Codisto Shopify to eBay uh, connector on, of course, you know, apply for our growth program and get the support from our team in doing so. Okay, perfect. Well, you answered the second question uh, that Zana had. Um, the next question is from Yana. Uh, she asks, do you need any certification when selling sterling silver jewelry on eBay? Um, not that I'm aware of, but same as before, I would say for specific, uh, you know, specific products, just search for the policy to understand what are the requirements and, and how you should, of course, uh, uh, act in accordance. Okay. Um, and then I, we have, I believe, Emilia asked an earlier question, uh, follow up. Do you do, uh, um, what are the, uh, what are the expectations for shipping times for buyers? Okay. I'm sorry. Do expectations for shipping times for buyers vary between eBay and other e-commerce platforms or individual stores? Yeah, so uh, generally speaking, yeah, uh, on, on eBay, you can have, let's say, three types of, uh, of shipping, which, uh, economy, uh, up to 23 days, uh, standard and express. Express is one to four days tops. Yeah, so uh, usually, you know, the best practice would be to offer at least two of them so the buyers can choose from. Uh, of course, taking into consideration that the longer the shipment, the, the probably the cheaper the price is for you as a vendor and, of course, for the end buyer. Um, but often buyers are, of course, you know, they're ready to pay for having, you know, quicker shipment. Uh, let's say, for, exa for example, the biggest industry that we have today on eBay from Latvia, auto parts and accessories. Uh, there, for instance, uh, and imagine that your car broke down, yeah, and you needed to buy, you know, a replacement for one of the car parts for your vehicle. Probably you would not wait 11 business days, yeah, or that your car doesn't work in order to get the item, yeah? Probably you would be, you know, inclined to pay more for express shipping. Um, so the, the expectations today, of course, is to also have uh, an option for express shipping. Buyers, of course, know that it costs more. Some are ready to pay for it. Some, of course, are not completely up to the buyer. Okay. A uh, very practical question from Davis. Which payment methods are available on, in eBay? Uh, is there only option for PayPal or other alternatives for business sellers? So Davis, PayPal, and eBay has divorced a while back. Uh, we no longer work with PayPal uh, uh, exclusively. Buyers can, can still choose PayPal and a various, you know, a variety of, of, of methods, yeah. But as a seller, what you would use is you would use eBay payments. Uh, it's a system that is integrated into the eBay experience, all connected to your seller hub, to your seller account. Um, from the fees that you pay eBay to the payments that you get from buyers. Uh, throughout the eBay payment system, you get it into your bank account within two days of uh, the transaction completion. Okay. Uh, next question is from Louisa. Um, hello. Regarding promoted listing standard, how does eBay calculate the suggested ad percentage? What is taken into account? Thank you. So, Luis, first, just a, a clarification. This, the promoted listing standard is, we have two tools. Yeah, we have the promoted listings advanced. This is what I was showing you before in the presentation. And uh, Luis was uh, asking about the promoted listing standard. Uh, the standard is the original tool. It's quite simple. Yeah, you choose what kind of bid rate do you want to offer on eBay. Let's say this, you choose 4%, yeah? Uh, so it would mean that for every successful transaction, that takes place due to the promotion, not organic. The organic ones doesn't. Uh, the organic one doesn't count. Yeah, you would pay four percent of the total items price, including the logistic costs. If the item is sold organically, you pay nothing. Of course, only as part of uh, you know the promotion uh, itself. Um, the great thing, Luis, about eBay is that you also have like one place, the dashboard, where you can see really, you know, in a comfortable way, everything. Yeah, also about promoted listings. You can see what is, uh, you know, the, the ad rates for different products, how much you paid, how much you sold, what is the trend line over time. You can play with it, have some A-B testing, understand what works best, and also get recommendations from eBay. For instance, what is the benchmark for your type of product specifically on eBay? Okay, uh, next question is from Nils. Uh, he says, what platforms does eBay use to send sellers a profit on orders? Uh, I'm guessing that you mean the, the payouts for, for the transaction. So uh, it's uh, it's eBay's integrated payment system. Uh, 
on the back end, yeah, it's eBay is working with uh, a company from the Netherlands. It's called EDN, uh, which is completely integrated into the eBay experience and connected to your bank account. Uh, as mentioned, within two days, you will get you know the payouts on your transaction delivered to your bank account. Okay, um, that takes care of, of, the, of the of the of the formal questions. I'll let everybody think about if they have any more. I just have one one quick question so we can conclude, unless someone else has another additional question. Um, so you mentioned the upcoming holiday season, uh, which is which is very rapidly approaching here. I know we already have. Uh, here in the United States, uh, many stores already have Christmas displays up, if you can believe it. Uh, it's not even Halloween yet, but uh, we they're already in the stores. Um, so just uh, in, as a general piece of advice or, or an insight, um, what can uh, the, the, the Latvian sellers that are online here today, what could they do to enhance their listings or their products, et cetera, or their exposure to get maximum exposure during the holiday season? Yeah, that's that's a great question. Uh, so first, of course, also you know, make sure that you have relevant products that are presented in a relevant way. For instance, you know, gift for her, gift for him. Uh, understanding how to leverage, you know, the upcoming uh, season and having you know unique also visibility for your listings and also unique promotions. Yeah, because. Buyers at the end of the day, yeah, of course, you know, bundles, understand as understanding what works best, you know, specifically for a gift, which you know, two items go together with kind of promotions. I think it also answers one one of the uh, one of the questions that were here for earlier on the webinar chat. Um, and, and of course, having uh, let's say a difference between the few types of buyers. So right as you said it already now we're in September yeah you have uh shops in the US already you know uh dressed for Christmas yeah so there are always the, the early shoppers yeah or you know searching for you know bargains uh great uh, you know presents for the loved ones and on the other hand there are always the late uh, the, the late bloomers the ones that are you know, already only reminded like four days before Christmas know that it's a crazy logistic time around the world as well. Yeah, not only in the US, also in Europe. So take this into advisement. And the best promotion, for instance, the closer you get to the to the holiday season themselves, is also offering promotions for express shipping. For instance, yeah, buy for two hundred dollars and more and get express shipping for free. Uh, buy three items and get express shipping for free. Yeah, this this would probably be relevant because. Think about this this way, yeah. If you want to buy a present for Christmas and you're four days before, if if delivery date would end up being five days, it doesn't matter. Yeah, uh, no one will no one would buy it. Yeah, it doesn't even matter. So put yourself in the let's say the shoes of your buyer. And one last tip is that many many businesses, and I think that it's uh, it's true for you know newcomers also, uh, you know prepare themselves for the holiday season, having you know excess stock uh, to sell, of course, more manpower to support, you know, with uh, questions and buyer's inquiry. My tip to you, of course, do all that. Yeah, have, you know, be, be, be ready for this peak season and, you know, a lot of sales that will, uh, that you will see in your business, but also keep them after the Christmas, because what usually you will see that after the holiday season, since you enjoyed such a great peak, Usually, even afterwards, you will still have more, let's say, more work than usual, whether if it's questions from buyers asking about their uh, their item, whether if it's return, uh, return requests from buyers that you will need to process, you will need the extra manpower even after the holiday season. Uh, and just to recap, yeah, guys, please, I, I, I added here to the chat the link to the growth program, please share your details with us. We will reach out to you. I hope that we can support as many of you as possible to start and onboard and the time to actually enjoy this great time of the year and the peak season. We have a couple of quick questions that I missed in the chat earlier. Uh, one was from Inna, which is what, what is the commission percentage that takes uh, that eBay takes for selling electronics goods? And then also what difference, oh. what, how do you differentiate yourself from Amazon? So first, in a, each category has their own different um, percentage for commission. Generally speaking, I would take 15%. This is the maximal one, then it changes by category. Um, you can just Google eBay fee by category and see like a complete list of all the different categories and subcategories. And of course, take the relevant one for you when you're pricing your items, yeah? Because eventually you will need to add all of the all of the costs before uh, pricing the item on eBay. 
Um, in terms of the differences between Amazon and eBay, so first Amazon, I'm, I'm guessing that you know that, yeah, it's it's a major company that deals with many things other than the e-commerce. Yeah, of course, the AWS, uh, of course, the fulfillment uh, services. Um, Marketplace-wise, I guess that, yeah, we are most, uh, most similar to Amazon and many, many of uh, the businesses that are currently selling on eBay also sells on Amazon and vice versa. My tip to you would be to, of course, sell on both. Yeah, because while many of the buyers are on both of the platform, you will always have, you know, buyers that are more loyal uh, to eBay, more loyal to Amazon. And you should, of course, be everywhere where the buyer is. I think one of the greatest differences in, let's say, the, um, the approach that eBay has uh, is that eBay is strictly a technological platform. Yeah, our mission is to connect buyers and sellers from all over the world uh, to have, you know, the, the greatest infrastructure uh, and trust to do that. But we, we never compete with our sellers. Yeah, eBay does not in any way buy your goods or dictate the pricing for you or anything like that. Uh, what you could expect if you're a managed seller is perhaps that your account manager would say, uh, listen, Ina, I, I see that for this type of uh, vertical, you're not competitive. I would advise you to change your pricing. But you as a seller, you're the owner of your store on eBay. You're the owner of your inventory and you're the, you know, the decision maker in anything that relates to your eBay activity. So I think that this is probably one of the greatest differences between the platforms. Thank you. We have another brief question here uh, from Egia. I apologize for missing this earlier. Um, what are the best tools for promoting our eBay uh, for promoting our advertisements on uh, for our eBay shop? Also a good question. So first, I think that before even uh, thinking about the promotion tool, I would always make sure that the listing organically is strong meaning at least three photos in high quality over a white background from, you know, different sides of the item, have usage of, you know, uh, relevant keywords to your items, very detailed listing. This is on itself will, you know, help your listing to, to shine and, you know, of course, to have, you know, increased visibility. And as for promotion and advertisement, I'd say it's a mix. Uh, it's a mix of using the, pro the promoted listings tool that I uh, shared with you earlier, because this is a tool that affects the, let's say the visibility and conversion. How many buyers would even, uh, let's say, be uh, exposed to your listing at the end of the day? So this is step A, yeah, step one. After that, you have also eBay marketing tools that are around increasing the, of course, uh, the shopping amount or having returning buyers. Yeah, one, get one, buy buy one, get one, or uh, buy for you know, a certain amount and get a complimentary item shipped to you as well. Things like that, that are aimed at, of course, you know, um, having more transactions from each and every buyer. And of course, get, having as many of them also return back to buy from you. Also using, for instance, coldest coupons, sharing, unique, uh, unique uh, promotion, uh, attractive promotions with your uh, already existing client base from the past. So it's it's all a mix. And of course, each and every one of them, you know, has their own time uh, and, and best strategy to utilize them for your benefit. Okay. We have a question just popped up in the uh, Q&A from Nils. Um, he's asking um, what I believe he says, Where uh, um, is there a way that you can see what products from Latvia are being searched of the most um, on eBay? If like somebody's looking for pro like Latvian products, is there a way to to see, let's say, search history or even uh, how often Latvian products come up in search histories or, or from Latvian sellers? Uh, no, I don't think there is uh, any such option to see specifically you know, the products that the uh, from Latvia that you search on eBay because again it's unless it's specifically for Latvia like uh, Latvian coins or Latvian uh, let's say stamps things that are very you know let's say uh, country origin or Latvian brands that you can name them and you can search them and see you know uh, specifically what are their search results on eBay you can sell so many things from Latvia that are general brands yeah Nike shoes from Latvia auto parts from Latvia which are not specific to Latvia so I don't think that there is a general tool that you can use for that. 
So, but if 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 there are unique, if it, just to summarize, if there are unique products such as Latvian art by artists, or like you said, collectibles that are specific, like coins and stamps, or military type type uh, medals, or other types of very specific, let's say wooden carvings from Latvia. I mean, there's ways to search that way, and you can probably working with the marketing department find out what 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 types of products are being searched for and sold. Is that correct? Definitely, definitely. If it's a specific product or a specific type of product that you're searching for, not generally speaking items from Latvia, you can use uh, Terrapic. I will also write it in the chat here. It's eBay's research tool. Yeah, you can see for anything. Yeah, uh, how how it does on eBay, what are the sales, the search results, sales results, help you price, help you make the decision whether it's worth it, selling on eBay or not. Okay, great. Well, um, I think I'm, I'll give everybody uh, one last chance if anybody has any any uh, additional questions. We've run through the questions. Uh, I got I think I caught all of them that were in the chat as well. Um, I didn't. So there was one or two that I did previously that I had missed. So I apologize to those. They were a little bit ahead in the queue than others. I just didn't see them, but I, we caught them in time. Um, and if, if that's about it, I wanted to want to thank all of our participants. Um, I hope I hope this was helpful to them. I hope. Um, all of you have a, a, a well, a good rest of today, nice evening, uh, as well as rest of the week. And then, um, of course, good business and good fortune going forward um, and a good, uh, hopefully good and, and large uh, holiday selling season. So and um, oh, but there's one more one thing in the ch something popped up in the. Oh, there it is. That was that was from that was from you, Daniel. OK, uh, one thing in the chat. Let me see what's here. Uh, there's a thank you from Aggie. So thank you. Um, you guys, I, I was really happy to see you know these many questions and engagement, and thank you, Leva and Rhinis, for for hosting eBay today on this webinar. I, I really hope to get to know as many of you as possible. Uh, like Rhinis said, yeah, and uh, everyone here today that that you'll have a successful holiday season with many many sales. Yes, Daniel. Maybe one thing that you could do is is put maybe your email address uh, in the in the chat. Um, so that if anybody has maybe a specific question or something where they'd like to maybe to follow up with you on, um, if that's okay, they could maybe send you an email, a quick email, and you could either refer them to a colleague or or answer it or or whatever. That might be helpful. Yeah, so I think that the best way would probably be to contact us via the growth program link. I will add oh, okay, it to okay. that. Yeah, and this way, of course, one of my representatives will contact you probably within up to seven days. So it's really important to also put your specifically your detail that you would want to receive a phone call or an email to. Oh, oh we, we did get one last question just popped in from Matis. He says, thank you for this opportunity. Is there any free tool to learn um, how to make uh, how to improve our listings or how to, you know, how to make them better? Is that on the would that be through the marketing department? Ah, uh, yeah, you can search eBay Academy online, and also I put also a link here with a lot of guides, toolbox, uh, everything you need to know uh, about improving your listings. It's it's a complete world, yeah. It's like uh, this one and eBay Academy. You can search. There are a lot of videos, written guides, anything, and of course, I also encourage you to. Contact, you know, get in contact with our growth team uh, for the growth program. I'm guessing that we have a lot to a lot to teach you. Okay, well, great. Uh, thank you, Matisse, for that last question. That was very good. Uh, there probably others have had that same same concern. So, um, all right. Um, well, thank you, uh, Leva. Um, did you have anything that you wanted to add, or are we just going to sign off? Uh, yes, everything's fine. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, participants. Uh, again, good luck, good fortune, um, and everyone be well. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, everyone. Take care. Bye. Paul Leva. Yeah. Bye. Thanks, Ryan.